Hey guys, this is Megan Helt, and today I'm doing an Etsy product review on Too High Cosmetics. I will link the Etsy shop down below as well as all of the products that I will be talking about today. So she sent me some samples, and these are not the traditional packaging. These are not how you will receive them, but these are just, just, just so you know. But this is how she sent it to me. She included a Lemon Diesel Shadow Strain Loose Pigment, a Dank Shadow Strain Loose Pigment, a Lemon Diesel Wicked Wax Cream Shadow, a White Widow Highlighter, and that is the High Life Highlighter. That will be available to purchase soon if it's not already up. I don't see it up yet, but it will be available to purchase soon. She also sent me samples of her good, that good, good highlighter palette. These have been stated to be very dupe-ish, 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 that's not a thing. These have been said to be almost dupes of the Anastasia Moonchild palette. She also sent me a lip resin in resin. All of her products are vegan and she only tests on willing humans, so friends and family. All of the products on my face that I'm wearing on my eyes and on my lips and on my cheeks as the highlighter are from her shop. So first of all, let's talk about the lip resin. So her lip resins are very interesting. They're kind of like a mixture of like a lip gloss and a lipstick and this is resin. I like it a lot. I'm wearing it alone right now, not over anything else. But I think this would work a little better with a black liner underneath or a black lipstick and kind of a topper. But I think it's very pretty. It feels very nice on the lips. I'm gonna swatch it for you on my hand now. And she says, that these work best when they are warmed up on the back of your hand or the lid before applying. So she sent a popsicle stick to kind of scrape it out and then you can apply that to the back of your hand to warm it up and then apply that to your lips and I do think that works the best. There's a swatch of resin. Resin will go outside of your lip lines a little bit if you're just using it on its own and you're not um, using like a lip liner on top of it, or uh, not on top of it, underneath it. It will kind of creep a little bit out of your lines. The lip resins are $10 and you get a three gram jar. So $10 for a three gram jar. The next product in here, and she packaged them like this for me, so this is really nice. I love, I love this. I like bag samples, but I, I really like things like this a little more. The next product that I'm wearing and that I think is phenomenal is her highlighter. And I'm also wearing it as an inner corner highlight. This one is called White Widow. And it is one of her Good Life highlighters. And again, this will be available for purchase soon. I love it. I think it's super unique. I hope that it shows up on camera good. It has a little bit of a lavender shift to it too. Oh, I wish it would show up a little more true to life. Let me see if I can get it over there. It's beautiful though. It's beautiful. There, there's some lavender shift to it. It's a gorgeous highlighter. I absolutely love it. A full size of that will be $10 and it comes in a one gram jar. The next product in my cute little tower of products is the Wicked Wax cream shadow in lemon diesel. These you also need to kind of warm up on your hand or something before you apply them. I'm wearing that today as a base on my eyes and then I have lemon diesel the loose pigment on top of that. So let me warm it up. This is what it looks like when you first apply it. And then when you warm it up a little bit, you can actually feel the product kind of melt. I mean, what? That's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is just such a unique color. I don't have anything in my collection like that, so I picked out all of these different shades and stuff, um, except for the highlighter. She threw that in for me. And I love, I love this. I think it's beautiful. And again, that is called Lemon Diesel, and that is one of the Wicked Waxes. A full size will be a two gram jar, and that will be about $10. I love the Wicked Waxes. The next product in here, is the Lemon Diesel Shadow Strain Loose Pigment. This is the same kind of color 
from the wax, but it is a pigment. It's a shadow, a loose shadow. It looks fantastic topped on top of the Wicked Wax, and that is what I've done today. I wanted to get both of these so that I could specifically wear them together. I think the shade is just beautiful. So that is that. It's really similar to the last one. I mean, I love it, and that's what I'm wearing on my lid. I wore it in my last set of videos, too. I wore this kind of same combination. I am mad about that. I think that Lemon Diesel is just life. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This shop has such unique shades. You will find some like browns and stuff, but they all are very unique. And the last one is another loose pigment. So another one of these Shadow Strain loose pigments, and it is in Dank. I am wearing Dank on my lower lash line and in the crease. Dank is beautiful. It's very, very unique. It's, I don't even know how to describe it, like color-wise, it's just very, very, very unique. Like smoky, mossy brown, not brown, smoky, mossy green, it's beautiful. And I'm wearing it in my crease and on my lower lash line. I think it's beautiful. The shadow strains, you will get a one gram jar of it and they will be $7. Let's go into the highlighting samples from the Good Good palette. So there are four shades, well actually it's customizable, but she sent me the four shades that were in the original one that I was interested in. And the first one is Master Kush, and in my last videos I wore Master Kush on my cheeks, and I also had it in my inner corner, if you want to go back and look at that look I came up with. Master Kush is very unique. I have no highlighters like it, it is a green highlighter but it also kind of has like a bluish kind of look to it. It's really pretty. That's Master Kush. It's beautiful. It is this bluish greenish perfect color. I love it. The next shade in there is Northern Lights and it is this lavender purple shade. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's this one right here. I love it. Hold on, let me move it closer so you can actually see them both. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful highlighters. Sorry about the light. The lights is kind of like changing constantly outside right now. I can't really do anything about it because of how my window is. The next one is Maui Wowie, and it's kind of like a coppery kind of shade. It's very interesting. It's right there. There it is down there. It's really unique. I think this one will look really good on people with a darker skin tone. It, it still works on mine too but I really, really like that. I think it's a very, very unique shade. Super beautiful. And the last one in this particular palette is White Rhino, which is, might be my favorite. I also really like the White Widow, but White Rhino is very, very pretty too. White Rhino is right there on the top. It's very, very white. If you're looking for a very white highlight, this one I think it's beautiful so there's all of those let me turn off my light so you can see it a little better there are all of those I think they're just beautiful and that palette will run you $20 and you get one gram each of the four colors and I want to give you my honest opinion on everything so I think the prices are actually very very good for what you're getting I think the highlighter prices are just phenomenal. I'm really in love with the highlighters. I think it just gives you such a unique kind of glow. I like the shadows. They take a little bit of working with, not the loose shadows, but the Wicked Wax takes a little bit of working with. If you put it right on your eye, it does not blend well. That's because it needs to warm up on the skin. So what you literally need to do if you purchase any of the Wicked Wax cream shadows is put it on the back of your hand and let it warm up and then apply that to your eye. That literally works the best. It really does. And then you can apply whatever you want on top of that. I really, really like it. The loose shadows are perfection. I love them. They're perfect. The highlighters are all perfect. They wear throughout the day. There's not a ton of fallout on anything. Um, sometimes the shadows will have a little bit of fallout, like Dank has a little fallout, but it's it actually doesn't stain the skin, like, you know, and you have to, you just wipe it off with the brush and it's gone. They're, they're really nice. Uh, the Lip Resin in Resin is probably my least favorite of the products that I received. So you need to warm it up on the skin and 
If you're wearing it on its own, it will kind of bleed off on the inside of the lips there. But it's very, very comfortable. She has other colors in the lip resins that I think would work better. It's just because the black is so incredibly dark and pigmented. I think that you do need a base underneath it. I think you need a black lipstick or a black lip liner. I have tried that and I think it works really, really well and it looks very, very good. But I just wanted to let you guys see what it looks like on its own in this video. But I do like it. I think it's very comfortable. Definitely um, very comfortable over lip liners and lipsticks. It's just, it's really nice just on its own because it's black it will be a little difficult to work with that's I'm just letting you guys know that so yeah definitely if you want to check out the lip resin I think it's a very good product and I do really like it I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it especially topping it on top of different colored lipsticks especially for fall I'm gonna put on for instance like a black uh, not black but a red lipstick and then put this on top or a purple lipstick put this on top just change it up I really like it as a lip topper on its own though, it can do a little bit of that where it fades and gives you a little bit of the creasing around the inside of the mouth. But again, I think that that, I think this product is definitely more of a lip topper product. So again, with a black lipstick or a lip liner, it's perfection. It's really, really good. I really like this. If you've been wanting to try one of the lip composites, I think this is a great price. It is $10 for a three gram jar. I think that's a fantastic price on these. That is everything I have to say, guys. Um, the, yeah, this is the look. Thank you so much for working with me. Thank you so much for sending me these products. I really appreciate it. I want everyone to go down to my description box, open it up, and you will see the link to her shop, the link to all of the products that I'm talking about today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and this is Megan Hilt out.